Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' SD. About to react to this event. It's titled I Spice's Y2K album rollout is terrible. Um, okay, we're gonna see why it's so terrible. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna listen to it. I reacted to her uh, video, Fat Butt, over on my Patreon recently, and I think it sounds decent, even though, you know, I mean, I already made my comments about it <laughs> over on Patreon. You know, I definitely have my issues with it to a certain degree, but, you know, I'm gonna give her a chance. It seems like she's switching her style up, uh, and it's for the better, so. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna react to it. Sure, why not? Anyway, let's see why they're saying it's so terrible as well. It seems like just yesterday, Ice Spice rose to fame from her hit single Munch. And since then, that hard knock life Annie Redfro has been burned into our brain. From Super Bowl commercials to Taylor Swift BFF bracelets, Barbie soundtrack singles with the Barbie herself, and branded Metro cards. Her come up has been extremely strategic and every move seems perfectly calculated by her team. So it's super surprising that her album rollout has been disappointing to say the least. Let's talk about why Ice Spice's debut album is career defining and how her team is missing the mark when it comes to this rollout. Hey Hi was Zan with an MC and I do rap and pop culture commentary. So if you're into that, subscribe and hit the like button. In March of this year, Ice Spice revealed that she finished recording her debut album, Fly 2 k This far, announcement right? came after her song, Fart, which marks the end, well, hopefully, of her back and forth with Lotto. Please and let it go. Hang it up, y'all. We don't care. I don't want to hear nothing else about that from, from these ladies. Be nothing more than a throwaway single. Similar to Give Me A Light, Fart is a song that didn't seem fit for an album, especially not a debut. There was nothing remarkable about the lyrics and even the music video was lackluster. Not to mention the oh, concept of even responding to Lotto was something that her team should have deadened rather quickly. Lotto was at an interesting point in her career because she's not a veteran in the game amongst the rap girlies, but she's certainly been out for a minute. Whether you've watched the rap game or heard her Queen of the South single when it first dropped, you know, you can just tell. She's she's one of the rap girlies, one of the top rap girlies. And overall, when it comes to rapping, a lot of so run circles I around High Spice. So this was the first mistake in the rollout. Responding to a beef before you get too poppin'. But if Ice and her team do nothing else, they're going to ensure we never stop seeing her social media, advertisements and award shows, and of course, big festival performances like Coachella. Now, I can agree that her stage presence has improved some, but overall, we have a ways to go. I'm not saying that I need an eight count dance routine while she raps about being Miss Poopy, but something other than her pointing and turning around to twerk every couple of minutes for the crowd's reaction you know that that would be nice like she cannot keep getting away with this we gotta get her <laughs> in boot camp like sweetie no, especially now that she's this. going on her first tour oh which brings me to last week when she announced the date of her y2k album release which is july 26th and her tour which kicks off in early july with cash Cook. Bang being her opener. We can start off by saying that Ice Spice is definitely ready for a debut album, but a world tour? Right. I would say wait at least a month after the album to start touring. As a frequent concert goer, especially to newer and upcoming artists, there's a period in between creating buzz for your project, dropping it, and letting fans get acquainted with the songs, and then going on tour. It's not like Ice Spice has these super lyrical songs that we need to learn before the shows. You already know, everybody's gonna be in the crowd twerking, recording videos, rapping to Munch. But anyways, it just, it just doesn't feel like a good idea. But let's push the tour to the side for a minute because I can already predict people tweeting about her not being able to sell tickets. Much of the first half of the tour are international festivals anyway, so 
you can count on the brows to be thick and energetic. Let's get to my favorite part about albums and album rollouts, the artwork. I gotta say, I really love vibrant album covers that give me that early 2000s feel. So this Y2K cover is cute. I will give Ice Spice that. It was created by photographer and music video director David LaChapelle, and his work is very eccentric and pop culture forward. A couple of his popular album covers include Travis Scott's Astro World, this is Tupac on this fucking iconic bro. World, Doja Cat's Planet Her, Mariah Carey's Rainbow, Lil Kim's Notorious K.I.M., and even Megan the Stallion's cover for her upcoming album, Meg. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. This is her official cover? Oh, I don't like it. So I love his creative concepts and album covers. Until I realized, like much of Twitter, that the album title is on the trash can. Immediate red flag. Yes. Where's the graphic designer, the creative director? Where is Ice Spice's antennas to stop someone and say, wait, hold up, move this before we post it on social media. Either her confidence is through the roof that something so small like this won't matter, or someone on her team is secretly plotting on her demise. Damn. Now, someone did bring up to me yesterday in the comments that it's supposed to be a nod to trashy Y2K and the era overall. Okay. I just don't feel like she pulls off that look well. Like it just gives just trash. And whatever. trashy Y2K and the era overall. Okay, I get that. Ice Spice totally embodies it. Juicy couture tracksuits, trap stamps, rhinestone, and bedazzled earth thing. Okay, I got it. But the but there's I've seen girls on TikTok especially who pull this look off in a way that just looks fashionable, like it looks trendy. I don't feel like she pulls it off well. But last that's just my thing that Ice Spice needs is for this album to flop and people have a field day turning this cover into a meme. I can already see Joe Button now. If that wasn't hey, bad enough, when it. a fan mm -hmm. who is a graphic designer. He decided to tweak the cover and add the album name to the wall as graffiti and remove it from the trash can. Mm -hmm. Listen, Ice Spice woke Excuse up me. choosing Violet. She posed fun at the fan and his previous graphic projects, an opportunity that really could have served as a teachable moment. And to be honest, a marketing moment, it was ruined. Because let me put on my PR hat real quick. Ashley, let's all put them on y'all. If we are Ice Spice's team and Ice Spice in general, I'm not only gonna respond to this guy to thank him, but I'm also gonna request him to make me a little something for the album drop, you know? Maybe some artwork for a single or even merchandise. Yes, I am paying him for it. It's not for clout. Get real. Because I'm killing two birds with one stone. One, I can showcase that I appreciate my fans and their attention to detail. Two, I'm giving support to the community during Pride Month. Mm, I don't agree with that. It's a win-win. But here we go Ice with the lose, lose. I'm not sure if it's just me, but Ice Spice and her team seem entirely too confident for the things that they are pulling before this album release. That's her team? Dropping these crappy singles, many are too confident. It all makes sense. This makes sense, bro. And for the things that they are pulling before this album release. Dropping these crappy singles, many of which sound the exact same because it's like she is not coming up off a riot with this production. And I get it, but no. She's clapping back at fans like you won't need them to stream and buy concert tickets. If you ask me, her previous project, Like, will probably have the better songs and features. I actually really liked that EP and the deluxe. The songs fit much better with her aesthetic. She needs to stick to the whole slow drill, baddie anthems, like Butterfly Cool. No, people are tired of that. That's why she have to switch it up, because she sees that people are tired of that. In her mood and smoochy. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, outperforms Y2K or even has similar numbers. And I think she did 15K first week. So I don't see Y2K doing much more than that. If we're being super optimistic and she has crazy features, 30K. But we being real, 15 to 20K. 
but I guess we will have to wait and see. I don't know. A lot of that I don't agree with. I feel like people are tired of that same slow drill sound. They're they're bored. That's why she switched it up completely. Cause her team, at least they they recognize that. Like we gotta do something different. People are they're 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 clocking out. So I think she should stay down this path and and keep switching her sound up and give us something new. Um, but yeah, well we'll see how uh, her album sounds when it comes out. That's a month away. I mean, I'm sure somebody will remind me in the comments. <laughs> hey, do you react to Ice Spice's album? It's about to drop. Y'all let me know around that time and I'll react to it. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!